Som Chen Kui. President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber continues to hear the remainder of the testimony of uh, Lord Sui. And if it's possible, a new witness will be heard today. That is to TCW 937. Mr. M. Hoy de Graffier, please Monsieur report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Graffier, Mr. President, all parties to the case are present today, and Mr. Nuji is present in the Monsieur holding cell downstairs as he requests to have his direct presence in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the Graffier. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Lord Sui, is ready and present in the courtroom with his duty counsel, Mr. Moon Suwan. We also have a reserve witness today, that is through TCW 937 who confirms that through his best knowledge and ability, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is, Nunti and Kyu Sampon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will take an oath before the Iron Club statue this morning before his appearance in the courtroom. He also has Mr. Moon Sawan as his Maître duty counsel. President, thank you. President, merci. The chamber now decides on the La request by Nun Chi. The chamber has received a waiver from the accused Nun Chi dated 12 August 2015, which notes that due to his health, namely headache, backache, and that he cannot sit and concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 12 August 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 12 August 2015, who notes that Nun Chi has severe back pain and difficulty uh, when he moves and recommends that the chamber shall uh, grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information, and pursuant to Rule 815 of ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means. The AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow it remotely. That applies for the whole day. And I note that Judge Lavenge has some questions to be put to the witness, and uh, you may proceed to judge. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président, de me donner la parole. J'aurais une Mr. demande à formuler à Monsieur Delisac, puisque hier, au cours de l'interrogatoire, il a fait référence à un document E3 bar 1900. 
d'une liste de prisonniers qui ont été écrasés le 6 mars 1978. Ce que j'aimerais savoir, c'est s'il existe un document original en langue Khmer. Je n'ai retrouvé dans Zylab que des versions, mais aucune version de ce document en langue Khmer originale. Et euh, j'aimerais savoir s'il s'agit d'un document qui provient de S21, si c'est un document, document qui a été fourni par le DCCAM, si c'est -ce un document qui vient de Tuol Slang. Je vois que le titre est T202, euh, euh, projet final, final draft. Je ne sais pas très bien euh, de quoi il s'agit. Donc, euh, si dans le courant de cette journée, il était possible de nous apporter des précisions, ce serait euh, intéressant pour, euh, pour nous. Merci. Monsieur député co-prosecuteur, je vais vous avez Uh, thank you, Judge Laverne. Um, I, I noticed that uh, myself also uh, and uh, started some inquiries uh, about that. Um, the reference to Rich here is a fairly well-known translator who's worked at this uh, court for a long time. Uh, it's clear here that he was translating uh, an original document from tool slang. There's a T203 reference. So we're tracking down the original Khmer version from which this would have been prepared, and we'll, and we'll submit that. Uh, in that process, we've also, I will tell you, found uh, another uh, S21 record relating to Taval. Uh, also confirming his arrest or his entry to S21 in late uh, uh, June 1977. And also apparently there is an S21 confession for, for Taval. So we're, we're looking into it. That all started from looking in, into this issue that you've raised. We'll, we'll submit that in writing to the court when we have that all together. President and Council Copper, do you have the floor? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, you still also owe me, I owe you, sorry, um, an answer in relation to the objection that I raised yesterday about um, Men Chun. Um, we were, I was basing myself upon a document. Um, when I said that he was arrested in February um, 1977, uh, document E3 slash uh, 2474. Um, uh, it is an, 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 the English version describes an annotation of Duik um, that uh, his responses are reported to him on the 2nd of February 1977. Um, however, um, on the basis uh, not only of this document, which seems to be wrongly translated, um, because this, the date of 2nd February 77 does not appear on the original Khmer version, and as um, often seems to, seems to be the case, the French translation is correct, uh, it refers to December 77. However, on the basis of the confession itself, it is clear indeed that um, the prosecution was right when it comes to um, Manchun. He was arrested sometime in June uh, 77, although there is also another document, E3-1993, which is um, a document that was put before the People's Revolutionary Tribunal held in uh, Phnom Penh in August 1979, document E3-1993. And on English ERN, uh, you can read 
0060064831 that Hoon was arrested uh, on 20th of August 1977. However, I uh, agree that it is most likely that he was, together with Daval, arrested in June 77. Having said that, it doesn't change the, the crux of my objection. Uh, and that is that uh, arrests in the northwest zone uh, were uh, executed uh, in the course over a year, um, starting in June 77 all the way up till uh, May 78, when not only uh, Runim was arrested, but also Chil, the Sector 5 uh, deputy chief. Um, so I think. Uh, the prosecution will agree with Donc me that arrests uh, started in June 77 and continued all the way up till uh, May 78. President Natasha Vand, do you have the floor again? We met Kopé, il y a peut-être eu un tout petit problème de traduction, yes, je n'ai pas hier aussi, il semble que ce même problème s'est produit. Est-ce que vous faites référence à l'arrestation de Hounim ou de Rosnim Est-ce que Hounim ne paraît pas avoir de lien du tout Because avec euh, la zone nord-ouest I fully agree. I think it's something in the translation. I, I said Runim, that is his, uh, that's the way uh, you pronounce it in Khmer, but that sounds like Runim, uh, but it's, it's Rosnim in English, but Runim in Khmer. So I was referring to uh, Tanim, the, the zone chief. Merci pour cette précision. Je pense qu'il faudra peut-être vérifier le, le transcript d'hier, parce que hier, il m'a semblé également entendre une référence à l'arrestation de Hounim. The chamber now again uh, gives the floor to the co-prosecutor to continue putting questions to the witness and you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Mr. Witness. Um, I'll try to finish my questions to you this morning uh, fairly quickly so I can pass the floor to civil parties. We were talking about the arrival of Southwest cadres in your region. Uh, I'm wondering if you could give the court uh, a general description of uh, how things changed in the, re in the region, if at all, in terms of living conditions, work conditions, uh, numbers of arrests after the arrival of the Southwest cadres in Sector 5. Witness, I do not hear your question. Let me repeat it. Uh, my question was uh, asking you if you could give us um, a, a description of how, uh, if at all, things changed in your sector, your region, after the arrival of the Southwest cadres. Uh, how things changed, if at all, in terms of living conditions, numbers of arrests. Please uh, repeat your question again as I have a problem with my headset. Thank you. Uh, my, my question is, uh, could you please tell the court, give us a description of how, if at all, uh, things changed in your region in Sector 5 uh, after the arrival of the Southwest Padres uh, in terms of the living conditions, in terms of numbers of arrests and disappearances. Can you give us a, a description of how things changed when they arrived?
Good morning, Your Honours. Upon the arrival of the Southwest, they started arresting the Northwest group as they accused them of being traitors. And they limited the food supply to 100 cans of rice per 100 people. For that reason, people became weak and got their bodies got swollen due to insufficient food. And they worked at night, became more uh, severe, that is from 5 to 11. And also the morning shift started earlier and ended at 11 a.m. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, I want to ask you, refer you to a specific statement you made in your DC CAM interview. This is E3 slash 9060. Uh, Khmer ERN 00733035 through 036. English 00728734. French 01123688. And you were describing here the new cadres that arrived. I quote, there were two groups. One was from Southwest, or people from the Southwest zone. Another group was from Kampong Chenang and Pursat. Those from the Southwest were very mean. Those from Kako Kampong Chenang were, were nice. They were all women, but those from Takao were very mean, end of quote. Why is it that you said that the cadres from the southwest zone were very mean? Why did you say that? I said the Southwest uh, people were mean because they were uh, female and uh, they came a commune committee. They were all uh, soldiers, and if they accused of if they accused us of being of making mistakes, they would arrest us and kill us. People who were starving stole a piece of a potato or something else to eat, and if they were caught, they would be severely mistreated. And that was the opposite of the Northwest cadre. I was later on transferred to back to my native village. And on the subject of, uh, again, on the subject of the purge, I wanted to ask you about something you said in your OCIJ interview. This is E319 slash 19.3.20. Uh, at answer 90 of your OCIJ interview. Uh, question, did you know why all the Southwest cadres arrested the Northwest cadres and replaced them with the Southwest cadres? Answer, I did not know the reason well. I just knew that the Northwest cadres were replaced with the Southwest. Tanim told us about it. End of quote. What I wanted to ask you was, uh, when and where was it that you heard Tanim talk about the arrest and replacement of Northwest cadres? When the Southwest uh, people came, Tanyam was still the zone secretary, and he called the big chiefs to a meeting. He told them that we were accused of being traitors, and that he told his subordinates to be uh, careful of being arrested by the Southwest uh, group. And only a few days later, he was arrested. So, 
we as his subordinates uh, knew that he was or he had been arrested by the southwest group were you yourself present at this meeting where Tanem uh, told people this No, I did not attend the meeting. However, we were told by our chief that the Southwest came to take control of us in Sector 5 and that Tanyam had been arrested. Now, I'm going to ask you just a couple of questions on some things uh, from your interview that I think probably the Defense Council will spend a lot of time asking you about. Um, and I don't have, won't have the opportunity to question you after, so uh, let me ask you just about a couple of points. Um, you talk about in your interview uh, a time at which um, you retreated into the jungle uh, and you talk about possibly transporting weapons into the forest. My question for you, and, and the specific reference I'll give to you is your DC CAM interview, E3 slash 9060, Khmer ERN 00733 through 054, English 00728747 through 748, and French 01123699. Uh, this is what you said, quote, Tanakh held a military meeting with chiefs of district and commanders. He told the troops and informed the Northwest Zone to get ready. In order to defeat the Southwest, we got ready by transporting weapons to the forest. After being called to return, we were arrested easily at home. End of quote. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to ask you, do you know, were you personally involved in transporting any weapons uh, into the forest? The soldiers who knew about it transported weapons to Konklang Forest. At that time, I was with my group on the crest of the dam. And about 10 days after, they returned to Swai. And they were easily uh, arrested by the uh, Southwest group under the pretext that they were called to a meeting one by one. What I wanted to ask you, Question. Mr. Witness, about this is, do you know whether this activity um, was part of some secret plot of Ross Nim to rebel against Pol Pot? Uh, or was just this an effort uh, by the sector forces to defend themselves and protect themselves against people who were coming to arrest and kill them? President, Mr. Witness, please hold on, and Councilor Copper, do you have the floor? Now, if we do not have a textbook definition of a leading si question, then I don't know uh, why does the prosecution not ask an open question first as to uh, what the reason was for storage of these weapons, but just gives in his second part of the question the suggestion that he hopes uh, the witness will confirm. So I object strongly to this question. It's very suggestive. This is not a leading question. It gives the witness a choice in contrast to what Mr. Pape has done with every witness, which is to simply ask him 
as if a rebellion actually was in work. I'm not going to have a chance to ask rebuttal questions. Mr. Cope has never asked any witness this. He always leads the witnesses with an assumption that there was a plot. I would just like to hear from this witness. Was there a plot to rebel, or was this part of an activity trying to defend themselves? I think it's a fair question. President, the Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you may resume your question. Do you remember my question, Mr. Witness? Uh, I'm asking you whether you know uh, this effort uh, to uh, move weapons into the forest. Was this part of some plot to rebel against Pol Pot, or was this an effort to defend against people who were coming to arrest and kill you? Spoken about uh, their storage of weapons in the uh, forest, uh, they were actually in the uh, process to counter attacks the people from the southwest uh, to take control of uh, Sector 5. And the next issue I'd like to ask you about you mention in your DC CAM interview uh, seeing currency that had been printed. Uh, what I wanted to ask you, Mr. Witness, is whether you were familiar with the currency that had been printed by the party leaders in Phnom Penh uh, in before they had decided whether or not to have markets. Uh, and are you able to tell us, are you in a position to tell us whether the currency, the bills you saw, were bills that had been printed in Phnom Penh or currency that had been printed in the Northwest Zone? The currency was printed in Phnom Penh. I saw the uh, notes uh, itself, uh, and the, the color of the notes was uh, reddish with some picture of people farming in the field. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, I have just a couple more questions. Um, in your DC CAM interview, you talked about uh, how your unit reported to Tanakh about the Trappian Tama Dam and how Tanakh would then write letters to Taval. My question to you is how did you know that Tanakh? wrote reports or letters to Taval. Then went to attend meetings with Taval while he was the Tandis qu'il était sur le site de Trapeur-Moutin, le barrage de Trapeur-Moutin. And you indicated in your DC CAM interview, E3-9060, at Khmer 00733-028, English 00728-727, and French 00112-3682. Uh, question, to whom was the report sent? Answer, to superiors. Question, who? Answer, Tanakh. 
Question. Tanak, Tanak answer yes. Oui. Tanak wrote the letters to Taval. And again, what I wanted to clarify with you is um, did Tanak send written Tanak reports to Taval? And if so, uh, how do you know that? When he wrote uh, letters, then he instructed his messenger to take those letters to Taval. The report mainly focused on the protection of the Trapeant Mall Dam and to make sure that uh, there won't be any breaches of the dam wall. I thank you. Uh, my last question for you, Mr. Witness. Um, at the very end of your DC CAM interview, uh, you state that uh, after the end of the Khmer Rouge regime, you returned uh, only once to visit the Trappian Tana Dam about 20 years ago, and that when you returned there, you said you were, and I quote, so sad, end of quote. Can you tell us why you were sad when you returned to visit the Trappian Tama Dam? When I returned to the Trappian Tumor Dam, I felt sad as I recall the time that we were just days and nights and we were only given half a can of rice uh, per day for our uh, ration. Uh, thank you for answering my questions, Mr. Witness. Uh, Mr. President, we have no Merci further questions. questions. Question, Monsieur le témoin. Monsieur le Président, voilà la fin de mon interrogatoire. President, thank you. Mr. Prosecutor, next I hand over the floor to the lead lawyer for the parole. Mr. Pichon. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, thank you. I would like to Merci. delegate uh, this uh, question, uh, questioning to uh, Madame Chetchili and then uh, uh, my esteemed international uh, colleague uh, would uh, follow after Madame Chetchili's questioning. President, uh, Council, you may now proceed. Mr. President, on your honors, members of the bench, my name is Chet Van Lee. I am the lawyer for the civil party. Yesterday, you um, clarify a few points uh, for the court uh, based on the question put forth by the prosecution. Uh, today, I would like to ask for a few more clarifications uh, so as to uh, enlighten the chamber on the topic. Yesterday, you said uh, that you were appointed uh, to guard the uh, more construction dam. Can you please uh, expand further? How many times uh, did you uh, uh, go to the Trapeant Moor Dam? Combien de fois êtes-vous allé au barrage de Trapeant Mord? I went to Trapeant Mord Dam twice. Réponse. When I was in the army, I was taken there as the uh, guard. And but when I was the uh, civilian, I went to the Trapeant Mord Dam. Uh, at that time, they uh, uh, made us uh, carry the uh, human. Uh, excremation uh, as the uh, fertilizer for uh, vegetable. Question. You said uh, that you went to the Bank More uh, Construction uh, Dam uh, twice. Can you please uh, a bit more detail? Uh, when did you uh, 
go there on the first first times and where did you uh, go specifically it was in 1976 when I was in the army. Uh, they redeployed me uh, to guard the Peng Thmo uh, dam. At that time, we had to uh, protect uh, the dam from uh, being broken by uh, flood water. And then afterwards, uh, they uh, they, uh, after the uh, southwest zone cutters arrived, uh, they accused uh, the northwest uh, cutters and others as the traitors. So they uh, dis dispersed our our group. Uh, and at that time, I uh, turned civilian, and they made us to carry a screaming uh, as the fertilizer. Question. Yesterday, you bon, told the court civil, and the prosecutors uh, that uh, you were redeployed from here uh, to there, uh, from one place to another. Why was it so frequent in terms of the uh, transfer of your role from one place to another? Response. Uh, no, it, it was not only for me, but it was for others, for the 90 members. Uh, they um, dispersed us, and we had to rotate to do different things. Uh, some uh, had to go to plough the field, others had to carry excrement, um, and those who were attached to the mobile unit uh, had to um, do different tasks uh, based on the, uh, their uh, assignment. Question, thank you. I still have a few more questions concerning this uh, dam. Could you uh, please tell uh, the court when the construction of the dam uh, started? What year uh, was it started? Response. It was constructed in early 1976. From Punli village to Trapiang Thmo village. Poli au village de Trapiang Thmo. Questions. Question. What was the dam for? À quoi servait what ce benefits barrage? would the people get from this construction? Quels étaient les bienfaits pour le peuple de la construction d'un tel barrage? They made a reservoir, a water reservoir for people to do farming during dry season. This uh, would be the uh, the biggest uh, reservoir, water reservoir for rice farming. Questions: When was this construction completed? Question: Et quand les travaux de construction se sont-ils terminés? Response. I did not have the knowledge of it because I was uh, withdrawn and I was attached to the village. So I returned from the Trpeng uh, uh, Dam and I uh, came back to resettle in my hometown. Question. Following the completion of the construction of Trpeng uh, to your knowledge, uh, did you know that there was any inauguration Ce ceremony of the completion of the construction? Response. Response. Once the uh, construction was completed, they did not inaugurate it. They only withdrew the uh, mobile uh, group, mobile unit, uh, to move to Topeng Srein uh, Dam. Even uh, a few bridges over there uh, was not, uh, were not completed either. Question. Yesterday, you uh, told the prosecutor that uh, the northwest cadres were arrested like Tawal, Tahung, and, and others. When they arrested uh, these uh, cadres, was the construction of the Pengtmo Dam uh, completed? 
response. Repose. When they arrested the Mount, the, had, the construction had, was completed already, uh, except the bridges. Question: uh, Who um, continue uh, the project following the arrest of Taval? Et après l'arrestation de Taval, qui a poursuivi les travaux? Response: Once Taval was uh, arrested, I did not know who came to take over. Après l'arrestation de Taval, je ne sais pas qui l'a remplacé. I uh, continue to see people continuing to uh, build the dam on a daily basis. Question: So who uh, took over from Taval? Donc, qui a to your knowledge. Taval? Response. That I do not know. Thank you. Question. Yesterday you said that uh, Taval and other uh, cadres were arrested. Subsequently. So to your knowledge, uh, did you know about their family members? Were their family members also arrested together with them? Response. After the arrest of Taval and other cadres for about 10 days, their family members were also arrested. Question. How about other cadres like Tamang, Tahat, Tahung? Uh, how about their family members? Were they also arrested? Response. Uh, Tamang's wife was arrested. I saw only two as for the wife of Tahat. I, I did not know. Question. Can you tell the court why their family members uh, were arrested? Response. I only uh, knew that uh, their wife and children were uh, working at that time. I did not know their responsibilities or uh, duties, but I only knew that uh, they were in the management level. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Question. You said that uh, you went to Trapangtmoor Dam twice when you were standing guarding the uh, Trapangtmoor construction uh, site. Uh, did you ever see uh, the visit of the senior Khmer Rouge uh, leaders like Kyu Sampon or Nunji or other leaders visiting that construction site? Response. When I was at the uh, the dam, they told us that uh, Anka would visit uh, the construction site, but they told us as the guard not to look uh, at the uh, Anka when they were uh, down to visit. I did not know who was who, but I sometimes took a glance uh, at them. I only saw them wearing a uh, short sleeve uh, white shirt, but I did not know who was who because they did not allow us as the guard you know, to stand facing the visitors. We Question. You said uh, Anka. Are you referring to the senior leaders or who are you referring to? Response. Uh, for Anka, they were the upper uh, excellent, the higher upper excellent. Uh, Supreme. They are much higher than the oh, civilians in the village. Bien, bien Questions. Uh, when you saw the, the convoy of uh, senior leaders visiting the construction dams, uh, what, would, what do, did you see at that time? Was it in a big convoy or what? Response. I saw a long fleet of uh, vehicles. Uh, there are different kinds of cars, trucks. I, I did not know the names of the uh, vehicles or the make of the vehicles. There were uh, some van or trucks. It was like a tourist uh, car. 
others, but there were a lot of uh, people coming uh, to visit. Mais but I only noticed that they were wearing site, uh, short sleeve uh, white shirt. And at that time, there was a clear instruction that we uh, must not uh, look uh, at the uh, visitors because as the guards, we were supposed to stand uh, facing off uh, from the visitors. Question. How often did Question. the uh, convoy Et or the uh, senior officials visit uh, to the dam? responsables sont-ils venus en visite? Response. Combien de fois y a-t-il eu de convoi de véhicules? Réponse. Once every uh, three months or four mois, months, uh, they would come to visit mois, the dam. Sur le chantier. When uh, ever they uh, came to visit, nobody were, venait, was allowed to come close to the visitors. Le droit de uh, they, were, approcher. they were standing guards of uh, different layers. Il Question. La garde à Question. Who among the leaders uh, visited uh, the Peng Tmo Dam the most often uh, over there, uh, to your knowledge. Qui est venu Response. Le plus Taval was the one who inspected uh, the construction work site on a daily basis. He would supervise the work and inspect it whether or not the work was done according to the plan. Question. Question. Beside Taval, who was the commander of the construction work site, did you see any other leaders who came to assist Taval or supervise the work there? Response. The President, Mr. Witness, please Le hold on. Council uh, for the Defense, Council uh, for Cusum Point, you may proceed. Uh, oui, Monsieur le Président, yes, je pense Mr. que nous President, avons uh, suffisamment uh, exploré le sujet. Je pense que nous avons exploré le sujet parce que la question a été posée multiples fois et a été répondue uh, à plusieurs reprises également. Donc, je pense que ce n'est pas la peine de répéter, répéter en espérant une réponse qui ne viendra pas, puisque le témoin a déjà indiqué qu'il y avait des gens à chemise blanche qui sont venus et qui n'ont pas pu les voir. Donc, uh, je pense qu'on peut passer peut-être pour avancer à une autre ligne de questions. Chairman Lee, um, Mr. President, uh, for the upper Monsieur echelon, I ask uh, that question uh, already, but I would like to Je know the immediate supervisor of uh, Taval, not the senior uh, leaders, only the uh, immediate supervisors of Taval who may uh, come to supervise uh, the construction site. The President, yes, you may proceed, uh, Count. Now I would like to move uh, on to the working condition of the construction uh, work site and Trepangt Mo. Yesterday you said that you were there at Trepangt Mo Dam and you, you saw lots of workers over there. To your knowledge, uh, how many uh, workers uh, were there if you could uh, estimate and uh, where uh, were they from? Response. When I was working at the Bank Tomorrow Construction Work Site, uh, they were within the uh, Sector 5. In other words, uh, if we talk about today, it is the entire Bentimenche uh, province would come. Uh, they would call people to come and build the dam. The president. Uh, 
Madame lawyer, you please make sure that your mic is activated. Question. Yesterday you um, answered to the prosecutor's question. You said that you were working in uh, the Bank Mall construction uh, site, and uh, you also enlightened the court on the food re regime and uh, other working conditions. Now I would like to know further on the conditions of workers at the dam. How did uh, the worker live uh, over there? Uh, now, after the completion of the daily work, uh, where do they? Where did they go? Did they stay in a, a communal hall, or they had to go to their respective house? Response. Response. At the time, workers had to build a shelter oui, uh, along the rice field, and uh, they had to stay uh, in those uh, temporary shelters along the rice field. Question, uh, did the workers Question. build those uh, shelter or huts? by themselves or Anka uh, prepared for them. How about the mattress uh, or how about the, uh, the uh, mosquito net or so? Were they supplied to the workers? Response. The mobile unit uh, workers built the uh, shelter by themselves, and as for the um, mattress or the uh, mosquitoes, uh, we had to take uh, from our individual uh, house. Anka did not provide uh, these materials to us. Question. Based on these living conditions, uh, what was the overall health status of the uh, workers? Uh, they did not have proper shelter, they did not have uh, mosquito nets, for example, and uh, they sometimes had to sleep um, directly on the, on the soil. So what was the overall uh, health condition uh, to your observation? Response. They uh, suffered uh, from malaria in, in many cases. Question, uh, did you ever witness uh, people died of uh, that disease? Response. I saw many, many people uh, died of, of that disease. They, some of them die uh, of malaria, and others die of the overwork. Uh, they carried uh, too much uh, soil. Questions. Besides malaria, what are the diseases that the workers over there may have died of? Response. Besides malaria, uh, others suffer from swollen body. Uh, they could not walk. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Question. Just one more point. Uh, in that construction work site, they mobilize mobile workforce. And among the workers, there were male and female workers. Were there children uh, in the, uh, among the workforce uh, over there? If there were, uh, how many of them, uh, if you could estimate? In those uh, mobile units, uh, we did not have the children. Uh, children were actually uh, put in, the, in one group, uh, so-called uh, children uh, hall and uh, it was located in the village and there were elderly uh, ladies who uh, took care of them in the village. Question. You were talking about mobile unit. 
to your knowledge, uh, what was the minimum age uh, of the members of the mobile unit? Response. Uh, the members uh, whose age were Réponse. below 40, down to around Ce 17, 18 de 17 years old. 40 ans, mais ils de 17 à 40 ans. Question. How about Question. the labor division? Did they divide uh, uh, female groups and male groups separately, or uh, they had to join the... Uh, mobile de unit uh, together. And des groupes, et des ou étaient, ou étaient response. Des There was a separation. Uh, oui, we ça have ça male unit and female unit. And uh, they also invited a uh, challenge among uh, them as well as to who et could achieve more work uh, than others. Uh, Anka was interested in knowing that. Questions. How about the plan? They issue uh, quotas. Uh, was it was that quota imposed for individual member or was it for the uh, group or unit? Response. It was by uh, unit uh, each. Uh, they would give uh, certain quotas. For example, one unit would be responsible for uh, 20 meters uh, by 15 meters or 10 meters, and we had to carry uh, earth and try to accomplish that within uh, our unit. Question. So what would happen if uh, each unit could not accomplish the quota set? Response. If any unit uh, failed to meet the quota, an ANCA would uh, take them for education, and they actually considered us as uh, betraying Anka. Uh, questions. You said that they uh, take them for uh, education or so. What do you mean by that? Response. It, men, uh, it means that they were taken for execution. They would be shot uh, to death. Question. Uh, were there any machine or machineries, you know, to assist the uh, labor uh, at that construction site? Response. No, at that time there was no any machinery. Uh, there were only uh, trucks who carried uh, food stuff or rice les, for workers. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Question. In fulfilling their work, did the workers have any freedom, for example, to leave the unit les and uh, uh, go somewhere else? Uh, and was there any accident uh, in the uh, workplace at the time? Response. After we completed the day work, we did not have uh, time to talk to each other, yeah, and uh, travail, they, we were under constant surveillance uh, at the time by Anka. We uh, had to go and take the rest individually. Question. In completing your work, uh, the daily work, were you under surveillance, for example, by uh, the uh, militiamen or any other people during the, uh, enfin, your work travail. and after your work? Et après aussi les heures de travail. Response. Réponse. After working hours, uh, there were uh, undercover who uh, 
Après le travail, il y avait try to des... uh, monitor and observe uh, people. Uh, so des we des dare not uh, talk. Uh, we would not uh, say anything about Donc, our hard work conditions. Uh, des, uh, they des, wanted to hear only uh, the pleasant words. Question. Did the worker Questions. at the construction site uh, ever complain about the Mais hard working conditions over there or the lack of food uh, and des, things like that? Did they ever de complain at all? Que les se sont Response. Réponse. At the time, nobody there complained ah, about no lack of plein, food. Non. Uh, when they asked, when they were given only a bowl of uh, watery uh, gruel, uh, they, they were asked whether or not uh, they were full. They said that, well, they were full. That. Question. Among the workers over there, were there any pregnant women? Response. No, nobody was uh, pregnant. Uh, we were uh, forbidden from loving each other. If anybody found loving each other, they would be accused of committing uh, moral offenses, and then they would be taken away for execution. Questions. In your daily life, working, living, and eating, were there segregation uh, between the old people and the new people? Response. At that time, uh, they segregated uh, the class uh, pet degree. They would consider one as a group of old people and new people. Uh, the new people were those who uh, live in the unliberated uh, areas, and the old people were those who were from the liberated uh, villages and areas. Thank you, Mr. Wittners, and here is my last question. While you were working at the Defense Modern, did you witness any arrest? Uh, did you know about disappearance of workers? And if it happened, when did it happen? Answer. Well, it was, uh, Doing my guard duty at the Trapeant Modern, I was uh, separate uh, from the people working in the mobile unit. The mobile unit belongs to the sector. For that reason, the arrest would be conducted by them. Question. Did you know of any detention center at uh, that uh, work site? Or did you know whether people who were arrested uh, were sent elsewhere for the detention? And so there was no detention center there. People who had been arrested uh, disappeared. Lawyer, thank you, Mr. Witness, for your clarification to my questions. And, Mr. President, I am done, and I'd like to cede the floor to my international colleague. Thank you. <coughs> President, the international lead co lawyer for civil parties, do you have the floor? Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à tous. Thank you, Mr. President. Quelques courtes minutes, Good morning, donc everyone. Je... I have Je vais vous poser quelques, quelques questions de suivi, so Monsieur le témoin. Bonjour, Bonjour. je m'appelle Marie Guiraud, je suis Marie avocat Giro. du collectif des parties civiles et j'ai donc quelques, quelques courtes euh, questions à vous poser ce matin. Ma première question euh, a trait à la première période lors de laquelle vous étiez sur le barrage, lorsque vous montiez la garde, et je voulais savoir si à cette époque vous étiez armé. Et si oui, quelle arme Réponse. 
We were on patrol along the dam in order to inspect if any dam wall was a bridge. And also the purpose was to make sure that no workers attempted to flee. And if that was the case, we uh, had to catch them and return them to their respective unit. Quelle était l'arme dont vous étiez porteur à l'époque? What weapons were you carrying during that period? Complain say cassé. It is say cassé, a rifle. Réponse était un SKS, c'est cassé, un fusil. Est-ce que tous les membres de votre unité, les dix membres dont, dont vous avez parlé hier, étaient également porteurs du même fusil? Who were working with you during that period? Did they also carry the same weapon? But Yes, uh, we were given a CKC rifle each. Avez-vous jamais fait usage de ce fusil lorsque vous avez tenté de stopper les personnes qui s'évadaient? Did you ever use that weapon when you tried to stop people who had escaped from the work site? Actually, at that time, I didn't know how to uh, use the rifle yet. I only carried uh, the rifle on my, over my shoulder. Je vous remercie. Vous aviez, vous avez indiqué que vous étiez en poste sur le barrage pour vérifier qu'il n'y avait pas de, de bris et de problèmes sur le barrage en tant que tel. Je voulais savoir si euh, il était fréquent que le barrage soit endommagé. Make sure no one damaged anything on the work site. Were you able to find out whether any part of the dam was damaged in that period? When it rained and when there was a flood, the water put pressure on the dam wall and as, as a result some parts of the wall's bridge. I reported to the net on the matter and the map made a further report to Taval. Des personnes étaient-elles sanctionnées lorsque vous constatiez des brèches? punished whenever you discover that there were cracks on the wall of the dam? À la dame worksite. Je ne comprends pas votre question. Je ne comprends pas votre question. Je ne comprends pas votre question. Pourriez-vous reformuler Je vais répéter ma question. Vous indiquez qu'il y avait régulièrement des brèches et que vous faisiez rapport à Taval. Savez-vous ce qu'il advenait après que vous fassiez rapport Que se passait-il Y avait-il des personnes qui étaient sanctionnées parce qu'il y avait des brèches sur le barrage no one was uh, punished. Actually, we Personne made a report puni. to our uh, chief that the crack was the result of the pressure from uh, flooding or from heavy rain. Je vous remercie. Je vais maintenant vous poser des Thank questions you. sur votre deuxième passage à Tlapé Antma lorsque vous étiez euh, euh, civil. Euh, Aviez-vous suffisamment de temps pour vous reposer à l'époque Alors que je travaillais, we only had an hour rest uh, during the day, and actually we had to be constantly en fait, on patrol, uh, walking along the crest of the dam, or while we had to uh, stand guard at one fixed location. Nous avons entendu un, un autre témoin avant vous. Another witness who testified before you. Resident Defense Counsel for Kyosampon, you have the floor. 
Oui, euh, merci, Monsieur le Président. Ce n'est pas euh, yes, tant une you, objection Mr. que euh, une demande de This clarification et de précision, so parce que ma consoeur a posé ces questions en disant, lors de votre premier passage et lors de votre deuxième passage, alors que, euh, répondant à une question de Monsieur le procureur, euh, le témoin avait indiqué qu'il n'avait qu travaillé sur le barrage qu'une fois. Donc, euh, pour que l'on puisse comprendre euh, euh, les questions de ma consoeur, peut-être faudrait-il clarifier ce point avant de poursuivre questions, c'est important pour lui ou pour elle pour clarifier ce point. Pas de difficulté, Monsieur le Président, j'essayais juste d'aller vite. No euh, problem with that, Mr. Je me suis basé sur les réponses qu'a donné le témoin à ma consoeur un petit peu plus tôt dans la matinée, où il a bien précisé de manière claire qu'il avait effectué morning, deux passages sur le barrage du Trappé-en-Themain, une première fois en tant que garde avec le statut de militaire et une deuxième fois en tant que civil, raison pour laquelle je l'ai invité à partager son expérience quant à, à, sa deuxième, euh, à son deuxième séjour jours sur le barrage. J'espère avoir répondu à, à ma consoeur. Je sais qu'il y a une difficulté puisqu'il a été moins clair hier, raison pour laquelle ma consoeur l'a fait préciser. Euh, libre à la défense, j'imagine, de, de rebondir sur cette, sur cette question. Je vous demande simplement de, de poursuivre, Monsieur le Président, je n'en ai pas pour longtemps. Request made by my learned friend. May I request Monsieur le témoin, je vais peut-être du coup reformuler. Nous avons entendu un, un témoin avant vous qui a indiqué que euh, certains travailleurs s'endormaient sur le site. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous, vous avez vu à l'époque Les travailleurs sur le site au travail devaient dormir sur le site même. Arrivait-il que certains travailleurs s'endorment pendant le travail, Did alors qu'ils travaillent Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous avez été témoin je vous remercie. J'ai une, une dernière question, peut-être deux. Vous avez indiqué hier, en début de témoignage, que vous aviez beaucoup pleuré parce que vos, vos parents vous avaient manqué quand vous avez rejoint l'armée en, en 1975. Je voulais savoir si pendant euh, la période où vous avez séjourné sur le barrage de trappé vous avez eu la possibilité de rendre visite à vos parents When I was taken to the forest, actually I missed my parents a lot and I wept secretly. I did not know, not allow anyone to see me weeping because I was afraid that I was not absolute and then I would be killed. Et par la suite, lorsque par exemple vous montiez la garde sur le barrage, Aviez-vous la possibilité d'aller rendre visite à votre famille We were not authorized to go Nous n'étions pas autorisés à quitter le site. Il n'y avait pas de règles qui nous permettaient de rendre we visite à notre famille ou à nos parents. Nous devions renoncer à toute possession personnelle. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que mon, mon temps est dépassé. You, Merci, Monsieur le témoin, d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Thank you, witness, for having answered my questions. So, my Madame Président, Maître, je vous remercie. It is now appropriate for our short break. We take a break now and resume at 10.30 to continue our proceedings. 
court officer, please assist the witness during the short break and the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties, as well as for the duty counsel, and invite them both into the court room at 10:30. The court is now in recess.